What's going on everyone? Right now I am in my 2008 Chevy Corvette. Recently I decided to swap out the clutch pedal return spring with one from the C5 Corvette. The reason why I wanted to do this is because in theory it should offer a little bit more of a linear feel, a little less aggressive bite point right at the uh, engagement point of the clutch pedal. I go more into detail on why I wanted to make this swap in a previous video I made. I'll link it right up here. But as of right now, the spring's installed, I've been driving it for a little bit, and I wanted to give you guys an update on if I think that this swap is worth it or not. Just to let you guys know, this is not an expensive or a time-consuming swap. I mean, it's, it's a simple spring, really, at the end of the day. It's $15 on Amazon. I'll link it down in the description, and it takes maybe five minutes to swap it in yourself. Now, it's really difficult to grasp how things feel through a camera, but I'm gonna do my best to show you what's going on. That way you might have a better understanding of what's happening. All right, coming down into the footwell here, taking a look at the clutch pedal, push it in like normal. You know, as you slowly raise it up from a stop, right around here is where the engagement point is, and it wants to just push right there. So like here is easy. Like see how it kind of jolts down, like it's not smooth. So right when it reaches like this point, it wants to kick it up right there. So like I said, with the old C6 spring, that was pretty aggressive. It's still there a little bit, because even if you take the spring completely off, there's going to be a little bit of jump right at the end of the pedal travel. But this definitely helps mitigate a lot of the push. If the original spring pushed back, say a 10 out of 10, this is more like a 6 out of 10. If you're also curious how to install it, like I said, it literally takes five minutes. I made a video on it and I'll link it right up here. Now where you're really going to feel the big difference between the two springs is when you're starting out from a stop. In between shifting gears, you might notice a, a slight little difference, but it's negligible, it's not really gonna matter. But starting out from a stop, you're slowly lifting up off that clutch, and in a couple instances, it didn't feel as smooth or as easy as it could have been. So here we go. Yeah, barely anything, felt great. Now, do I think making this switch is worth it? For the price point, you almost have to. I mean, if you don't have an issue with the factory C6 spring, by all means, just keep that in there, keep driving it. I had a couple of people drive the car and it was a 50-50 split on whether or not they thought it was a little too aggressive. If you personally think it's a bit too much, then I would say, by all means, go for the C5 spring, try it out. Like I said, it's only 15 bucks. You really can't go wrong. It's not like this is uh, hundreds of dollars to change something that's very complex out. It'll take you five minutes in the garage. You can do it with just some needle nose pliers and a flashlight so you can see. But other than that, it's super simple. Like I said in my last video, there's another solution, you could say, of a long coil spring that mounts a little bit in front of the pedal and up higher, so it just creates this more linear pull up. If you wanna go that route, it might be a little bit better. I don't know, but as far as the C5 spring goes, I think it's your best bet. There's zero modification to the car. You don't have to worry about changing anything permanently. It's as easy as it gets. There we go again. Super smooth. Easy peasy. So I hope this video helped you out. You're having trouble deciding with your Corvette whether or not you want to upgrade the spring or if you think your clutch pedal is just being a little too aggressive. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really appreciate it. Take care, everyone.